Hello YouTube and thank you for checking out my video. In this video, we're going to take a look at the new Jabra Elite 10 Gen 2 earbuds. At this point in time, summer of 2024, many of you already know these will be the last of the Elite line of products from Jabra. which is understandable from its financial standpoint due to so many other competition in this market right now. Therefore, I don't blame Jabra for doing what they have decided to do. However, I still think you should consider the Elite 10 Gen 2. And in this video, I'm gonna tell you why I feel that way. First, let's get the general specs out of the way. Please pause the video to look them over. And yes, they do have Bluetooth multipoint for up to two devices. Let's start with the comfort of these buds. These are a semi-open buds design, meaning that if you look at the shape of these buds, there's a little bit of opening right here when it sits in your ear. It's very subtle, but it does make a difference. That basically means it fits snugly into my ear, but leaves a little bit of room to breathe. Now, this is especially noticeable while eating with these buds on. I don't hear myself chewing. These fits me well, and I find them to be very comfortable. Next up, I want to talk about the control, which I really like. I'm a fan of the button control scheme on these. If you, you can't really tell from the camera angle, I'm put it to the side here, but these are actual buttons that uh, you can, it provides a pretty good feedback when you press into them. Other than not being able to change the volume controls, you can pretty much change whatever else you want on the single, double, and triple presses. It also has a separate control scheme for uh, calls. This is for incoming calls that's coming in. This is for a while the call is active. As you can tell, you can mute, you can uh, answer, or you can end the call. You can reject the call. I want to briefly talk about the wind noise reduction mode that they have here. I tested these outside during a windy day. To be honest, I don't really feel much of a difference with it on or off. I just left it on. It's there if you want it. Now the app itself, uh, it's actually pretty friendly. If you look on the main page here, it gives your battery percentage. This is your sound mode. Your hear through has a uh, slider, which is nice. You can also turn it off at, of your ANC or hear through off. Dolby surround, I'll talk about that a little bit later. Here's your five band equalizer. Uh, you have presets here, or you can do a custom one, such as like this. Very simple, I call it friendly app to use. The only thing that I wish for is the ability to swipe volume control up and down the buds. But other than that, I think the controls is very, very well done on these buds. Now, according to Jabra, the active noise cancellation for these has been greatly improved from Gen 1s. Personally, I have never used the Gen 1s, but I can tell you, these are excellent for active noise canceling. I say if ANC is your absolute number one priority though, there are better options from Sony and Bose, but these are a solid option to cancel out the outside noise. If I'm going to give one aspect that I consider to be mediocre at best is the transparency mode. Jabra calls it hear through. It does just okay for me when using it outdoor or in the office. It amplifies the outside sound well enough, but not as clear as I like it to be. Overall though, still pretty solid and usable, just not the best I have tested. Before I go into the sound, let's go to the biggest selling point that Jabra added to these Gen 2s, which is the smart case. You can tell on the Gen 2's case has a button here, which the Gen 1 does not have. Simply plug the case into a 3.5 millimeter jack it comes with a cable here. This is actually a USB-C to USB-C cable, but it does have a 3.5 adapter. Press the button here and boom, audio is streaming to your buds without any pairing using LE audio. Couple of things to note. The case is for audio only. The mic will not work while using the case. Also, you cannot simultaneously stream audio from your phone while connected to the smart case. Keep these things in mind. Now, I tested these using the 3.5 millimeter jack on a TV, which worked great. 
I can still control the volume via the buds and the TV remote with no noticeable latency. I also use these with an the amplifier such as this Topping E50 here and once again worked great without any issue. One thing I have noticed though, the volume and sound does do better when it's plugged into an amplifier versus just straight into the TV. USB audio also works great. It shows up on your sound listing as Jabra Elite Smart Case. Select it as your output, push a button, and here we go. Now, I also tested this on my PlayStation 5 using the USB plug. Now, now the PS5 does recognize the case as an audio source. However, the volume is very low no matter what I tried. Using the 3.5 millimeter on the controller worked better, but then you have this case hanging out which is kind of annoying. Couple these with the fact that the mic on the buds does not work when using the smart case, I cannot recommend this to use on the PS5. Finally, let's get to the sound quality. Bear in mind, I am not an audiophile and I definitely cannot taste my music like some people can. This is only my own subjective view on the sound. Personally, I prefer a clear sound with high treble. Bass is nice, but I don't really prefer a bass heavy buds. As far as the mist goes, I just like to hear the vocals clearly. Like I said, I'm just an average consumer. Out of the box, these sounds average at best to me. I did went into the app and raise up the treble and the bass a slightly to get these to sound better for my taste. Overall, I do like it after that for multiple type of genre. In particular, I really like these for like dance style or electronic style music while running or walking with these, it really keeps me moving. Now the spatial sound that I showed you earlier uh, is kind of useless though. So I highly recommend you just leave that off. Speaking of workouts, these are great for any type of workout you wanna do, cardio or strength. Uh, they have never really fell on my ear and it's got a really high IP rating of IP57. I don't worry about these one bit about water or sweat they have become my go-to buds for indoor workouts. Fantastic option. Now here's a mic sample taken from the outside. Let me know what you think of the quality. Test recording one, two, three. Test recording one, two, three. This is a Jabra Elite 10 Gen 2. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Testing, testing, three, two, one. Uh, decent wind today. Not too bad though. Standing in front of a row with some traffic going by there and there. This is a test recording for the Java Elite 10 Gen 2. I think the mic quality on these buds are great. For phone calls, I've also used these for Teams meeting. I've had no issues. Great job, Jabra. In conclusion, I find the Jabra Elite 10 Gen 2 to be a great set of earbuds that offer something we don't typically find in this space. I'm pretty sure someone will tell me other companies have done this smart case concept already. You know what? That's great. But I find the total package these buds offer to be top notch. The comfort, the control, the good ANC, and the friendly app with easy to use equalizer. These earbuds, they don't specialize in anything in particular, but it does everything well enough that I feel like for most consumers, these are a great option, despite the fact that these are technically discontinued. And I've been using the smart case feature quite a bit lately. It's just a simple way to connect without going through the pairing process. And I really like this feature. Now, yes, at the retail price of $279, this may be a tough sell for most people. However, I do think there will be sales for these later on this year. So, you know, wait for a couple months to see if the price drop is worth it for you. I wanna thank you all for watching this video. Please hit that like button for me if you end up liking this video. Subscribe to my channel to help my channel grow. Thank you and I hope you have a great rest of your day.